Uh, let's now bring in Mary-Kate Carey. She's a senior fellow for presidential studies at the University of Virginia's Miller Center and a former White House speechwriter for President George H.W. Bush. Thanks for being with us. Uh, do you agree with President Trump's decision to fire Comey? Yeah, I, uh, I did what only, I think, a handful in pe of people in Washington have done, and I, I sat and read uh, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein's uh, argument for how to restore trust in the, uh, in the FBI, public trust and congressional trust, and he made a very compelling case, and I, and I agree with him. I think he, uh, he came to the right conclusion, and it sounds like uh, it, it was the right thing to do. Well, what would you say is the crux of that case? The crux of the case was that uh, FBI Director Comey had crossed the line from uh, being an investigator into being a uh, prosecutorial decision maker once uh, uh, Attorney General Loretta Lynch had recused herself from the decision. It should have then gone to someone else at the department, uh, and instead Director Comey stepped into place uh, to, in his mind, make the decision on whether the prosecution should go forward when he was actually only the investigating agency. And, uh, and to uh, Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein's mind, as well as to a number of other former attorneys general of the United States, that is a line that should never be crossed by the FBI. And he thought the only answer was to put hmm. someone in place who would uh, respect that line. Right. Now, uh, Mary-Kate, we do have, if you look at it, a rare situation which Democrats and Republicans, they both wanted uh, Comey fired, but of course for different reasons. The Democrats were upset that he might have torpedoed Clinton's campaign by uh, talking about these things, uh, the emails close to elections. Republicans, well, they didn't want Comey before not pursuing that criminal case against uh, Clinton for her email serving misdeeds. So why do we not have bipartisan support for this firing? <laughs> now that is the question of the day. The, the contradictions in Washington right now uh, that are leading to this sort of chaotic news coverage is really unbelievable. Uh, yes, you're absolutely right. The Democrats are basically saying, how dare the president fire someone who we were publicly calling upon for him to fire. And, and, and the Republicans are also saying, you know, oh, thank God he was fired. We never liked him in the first place. But last fall, there were quite a few Republicans saying James Comey had done the right thing. So it's, it's strange bedfellows right now in Washington. You're absolutely right. There should be bipartisan support for this, uh, especially if you read Ron Rosenstein's letter. Uh, you realize this, this certainly appears to be a solid case for having him fired, and yet the town is uh, practically on fire. It's unbelievable. Uh, now, Mary-Kate, uh, people alleging that this is a cover-up. Now, I could see how taking out the top dog would maybe make the underdogs at the FBI uh, worry about going hard on the president. But doesn't this just put an even brighter spotlight on Trump, um, considering this could push for a bigger probe led by someone far more trusted than Comey? Yeah, and I think there'll be a lot of eyes on who he nominates to replace Comey. Uh, you know, from, certainly from the, the Department of Justice and the FBI's point of view, they're going to want someone who is fiercely independent, and that's the person most likely to get uh, through the Senate, as, as Dan Raviv was just saying. Uh, so, yes, I think it definitely puts a white-hot spotlight on the president and what his next move is. Uh, but, you know, the fact of the matter is, neither one of these investigations has been shut down. The investigations will continue both by the House and Senate Intelligence Committees and by the FBI. Uh, so I, I highly doubt there'll be a special prosecutor named, uh, just because there are so many investigations that have not been shut down. I, I, I don't see the benefit uh, to adding, adding to the pile, and I think most of the senators and congressmen probably feel the same way. So I, I highly doubt there'll be a special prosecutor, but it will be key to see who he replaces Comey with. Uh, certainly a lot of resources dedicated to this. Uh, Mary-Kate, would Clinton have done the same thing had she become president? Uh, I think she probably would have. There was uh, quite a few Democrats. Uh, Maxine Waters was saying that some of the senators were saying that they thought uh, back when the election was taking place that if Hillary Clinton had been elected, she would have fired uh, James Comey. And I think that has the ring of truth to it. Now, of course, they're saying the opposite and they can't believe he's been fired. But uh, I, I think Hillary Clinton, if I was a betting person, I would bet she would probably have fired him. <laughs> and uh, probably on day one. All right, Mary-Kate Carey, thank yes. you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.